Hello everybody and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. Today we're going to explore how we can harmonize our emotions by holding our fingers and of course we're going to use our own hands and placing them on our fingers which is so easy to do. So I invite everyone to join along in this little practice and then you can take it home and practice it anytime you like. So we're going to start by placing our hands on our thumb. The thumb helps to harmonize worry. And if worry is not processed, it can cause disharmony and dis-ease in the body. So it's very important to harmonize all the worries in our life. And just take a little note of which side feels more comfortable for you and then stay with that side. We start with that side first. So take a nice deep breath, holding the thumb and harmonizing all the worries in our lives. And babies know how to do this. They suck their thumbs naturally, helping to self-soothe and also helping their digestive system. The thumb helps to harmonize the stomach and spleen flows, the energetic pathways that become the organs. So helping our digestive system and helping to harmonize worry. And if we worry a lot, it can keep us up at night or can wake us up in the middle of the night. And we start to think about something that's not right here in the moment. It's something from the future or in the past that gives us the worry and that takes us out of the present moment where maybe we are really okay. So it's very important to harmonize uh, this emotion and when we don't harmonize it and we don't process it, again, it can cause disharmony. So let's take another nice deep breath here, bringing harmony to our digestive system and letting go of the worries in our lives. And let's move along to the index finger. The index finger is one of the favorite ones. Uh, we hear a lot about fear and anxiety and the index finger really harmonizes the emotion of fear. And emotions and feelings are good when they come up. It's just very important to process them and you can do this by talking to a friend or talking to a therapist and at the same time you can also harmonize it on an energy level. And so if we're holding the index finger, we're harmonizing fear. The index finger also helps the kidney and the bladder functions, the kidney and bladder pathways, the energy pathways that move through the body. So it also helps the muscle in the body. So the index finger is a very important one. And when people live in fear, they may talk like this. They may talk like this, actually pointing the finger at themselves. And so it's a good thing uh, to, just, to just hold this gently and take a few breaths here. Very nice. And you can hold the whole finger at once or you can hold, see if you feel a pulsation is in a specific area coming up, be it the tip of the finger, the middle, or the bottom of the finger. And I will tell you a little bit more about that. Feeling for the pulsation. When you feel the pulsation, that's the energy moving from skin surface all the way to the core, to the center of the body. And we receive that back by the pulsation that we're feeling into the holding hand. So we can hold it gently. There's no need to put pressure or force or press hard, just holding it gently so that you feel this pulsation coming up into your fingertips. And then moving along to the middle finger, helping to harmonize the emotion of anger. So there is no need anymore to stick up your finger. It's very dynamic to just simply place your other hand on your middle finger and harmonizing these emotions. This is also great for temper tantrums. If a child has a temper tantrum or if you feel you're having a temper tantrum, just holding the middle finger gently and taking a few nice breaths. Again, waiting for the pulsation to come up. 
The pulsation is the energy spiraling all the way from the skin surface to the core and then spiraling back to surface. And so we may feel different textures. Sometimes you may feel that the pulsation disappears. And th that's one of these cycles of energy. In Jinshin, we call it fluff. It kind of feels kind of hard to feel. It's like a ca cotton candy where you can go through it. Or you may feel a very loud pulsation. That's another texture we look at in the art of Jinshin. So again, it's all about getting to know and help yourself and experiencing which finger feels comfortable for you tells a whole story. So the middle finger helps the liver and gallbladder energy. And we know that can have a relationship to the emotion of anger. And so it's important to harmonize it. The function of this cycle of energy, depth three, is blood. So it also helps the blood in the body. And it's one of my favorite holds. It helps fatigue in the body. There's another flow called the fatigue flow, which moves right into the middle finger as well. So holding these fingers is so powerful and dynamic. You can work through all of them in one sitting or hold one finger at a time. And let's just take one more breath here. Then we're going to move along to the ring finger. And the ring finger helps depth two. It helps to harmonize sadness and grief. The second cycle of energy helping the deeper skin in the body. Sadness and grief. So if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling grief, then just hold this ring finger till you feel the sadness and grief melt away and you may feel some energy and abundance coming up and that all has to do with the inhale and receiving. So let's take another breath here and then moving to our little finger. The little finger helping the heart and small intestine energy and helping the trying tos of life, the efforting. So if we're always trying really hard to get something done or to do it right, then that is efforting. And that really takes away from us being authentic, being real and letting go and just trusting that everything will be okay. We don't have to try so hard. And so the little finger, sometimes you see people sticking it out even. So that tells you a little bit of what's going on. So again, helping the heart and small intestine energy, healing the heart as well as the actual heart organ. So great for heart palpitations as well. And let's take one more breath here on the little finger. And by now, hopefully you have felt which finger feels most comfortable for you. And that tells you something about the cycle of energy that probably you need today. And it may change every day. Every day we are anew because with every cycle of breath we renew and different emotions do come up every day or every moment. So just take a note of that and understand understanding yourself is so important so that we can help ourselves. And let's just briefly do the other side, holding the thumb. So often I get the question, do I need to do all of my fingers? Do I need to do both hands? And you can really just hold one finger. Just go to the finger that feels most comfortable for you. And you can stay with it even for as long as 20 minutes. Or you can just briefly hold each of them. So the palm of the hand helps our exhale. And the back of our hand helps our inhale. And so this is just information. And again, for you to see, are you more drawn to the palm of the hand? Do you need to let go and exhale more? Or are you more drawn to the back of the hand, which feels more comfortable for you? And that just gives you more information about yourself and where you're at today. So let's take another breath here, helping to harmonize the worry and let the worry melt away helping the first cycle of energy in the body. And then moving along to the index finger. The index finger 
helping to harmonize fear and anxiety, which is, we hear so much today, fear and anxiety of younger people, even children having anxiety. Um, you can invite a child or your child or your little niece or nephew to hold their index finger and just letting them harmonize their own energy. Sharing the art of Jenshin is, is important because we all have our hands that we can apply to ourselves and it's that simple. When you place your hands, you're practicing the art. The tip of the finger again helps the chest line. The chest line harmonizes our emotional system. Chest line. The middle part helps to clear the waistline, helps to calm our mind. Waistline. And then the bottom helps to clear our hip line. Helps to connect us to the earth. So it's body, mind and spirit. So by holding the entire finger, you're helping the body, mind and spirit right in this simple hold. Let's take one more breath here. And let's move along to the middle finger. Middle finger helping to harmonize the anger, liver and gallbladder pathways. And when I say energy pathways, these are pathways, energetic pathways that move through our body that eventually become the organ. So the liver energy denses and becomes the organ. So the middle finger will help to harmonize the organ, the liver. But so do the other fingers because in um, traditional oriental medicine, we look on in a circle. Everything is connected to the other. Uh, we're not thinking linearly. And we're always looking at the cause. So if one is related to the other, then maybe another energy is burdening the liver energy. So if you say, well, if a liver project, but holding the thumb feels, feels really good, then by all means hold your thumb. So I hope this makes sense. If you're a newbie, then just practice along holding your fingers. And let's take one more breath here. And then moving along to the ring finger, harmonizing sadness and grief. And I noticed sometimes when I was sad that I would be just sitting like that subconsciously. And it's like, oh, you know, there's some second depth going on here. Maybe some sadness and grief that wants to be harmonized. And just holding the ring, ring finger will do that. Um, again, the palm of the hand helps our exhale, so you can also place the thumb on the ring finger and wrap the fingers around the back, helping the exhale and the inhale at once. Also, if you like to hold the sides of the finger, this side, the little finger side, helps the inhale, and then this side helps the exhale. So if you're holding it like this, again, you're helping the exhale, allowing for the exhale and the inhale. So these are all on different levels and that's why Jinshin is so much fun to study. I've been studying for such a long time and still learning. And so whatever you hear in these sessions, take what you hear and leave the rest behind. You are just receiving exactly what you need. And so that's very important to know and also in life. Let's take one more breath here. And then let's move along to the little finger, helping the heart and small intestine and our trying tos of life. And the trying tos of life, I'm thinking of a basketball player when there's so much pressure on them to get the ball into the hoop and they're trying really hard, they may miss. And when they're just in the flow and allowing for it to happen, it's much more accessible. That's the trying tools of life and we just want to be authentic and real and don't have to pretend, pretend to be something that we're not. We just want to be authentic. The little finger also helps our deep emotions since it helps the heart. It's everything in the art of Jinshin works on a spiritual and a practical level. So opening the heart as well as the actual heart organ. 
so great also for heart palpitations or any heart project and then again check out if it's more at the tip chest line waistline or hip line if there's any congestion or tightness if it's on the front back or on the side getting to know yourself is so important and really empowers us to be able to heal ourselves i mean how empowering that we can just use our hands and place them on their own bodies and lastly and most importantly or very important is the palms of the hands and those are they're all inclusive the palms so it helps all the other energies it helps deep fatigue in the body and it's the cycle of the sixth depth which is source energy there's a relationship with the umbilicus and diaphragm energy and so that's on an individual level but when we hold our palms it connects us to source energy to the universal energy so it's nice that when we shake hands when we meet somebody like this and so we place the palms together and we're getting all this information and at the same time you are also giving so next time when you're shaking someone's hands i'm inviting you to be aware of everything that's going on so we can place the palms of the hands together like this in prayer position or we can hold it like this or like this again whatever feels comfortable for you in my book the art of jinshin you see it like this so that's another beautiful option and i'm really inviting you to practice these fingers often you can practice them while you're in a meeting or when you're even uh, sitting waiting in an office or, or really any time when you're falling asleep you can be holding a finger use your hands use your jumper cables and practice the art of jin shin so thank you all so much for joining and i'll see you next time